Hello, this is a comparison between two extremely high quality pianos, the Bösendorfer 130 and the Grotjen Steinweg 125. Now the Grotjen Steinweg 125 was made in 1925 and the Bösendorfer 130 was made in 1993. This Bösendorfer didn't originally have book holders uh, but we fitted them on. The Grotjen doesn't have book holders on this music stand, but it does have original fitting on this music, which is the one that sw swings out from inside. Now the idea of this type is that it's, it's the same height as a grand piano music stand. The music stand on this Stymie Model O is about 99 centimetres from the ground. And so is the Grotjen one, so it's actually better for your posture, or most people prefer that. But a lot of modern pianos tend to have this lower one, just for convenience really. I mean, convenience of fitting, it's easier to fit onto the piano. Now, both these pianos have plenty of leg room. As you can see, there's a space there. Most upright pianos, my leg will be touching. Uh, so if you're a tall person, you should fit under easily. And the pedals are low down on both of them. These, these are nicely angled, these pedals. Now, the Bösendorf has even more leg room. Um, so that's, that's really useful. And the pedals, again, angled down slightly. Now these are very different pianos and fulfil very different needs really. The Grotjen uh, is a, a mellow piano and uh, has a very, very delicate um, tone and touch. The Bösendorf is, uh, is a modern touch, uh, modern tone and touch, um, very highly refined. Now let's look first at the touch of both pianos. This is the Bösendorfer and uh, the dampers are quite heavy, uh, that is the springs in the dampers. That's typical of a good modern piano. Uh, it does mean though that it feels, once you get to that point, you can feel the damper. Um, if we push the damper pedal down then it feels more, feels uh, smooth throughout. Uh, now this, this is a touch weight uh, measure you can do this at home. Five one pound coins and a five P should be uh, concert touch, excuse me, because the phone's moving a bit because I'm bashing the bottom of the piano here, but that's how you measure that. And you can see it's going down 50 grams, that's correct. It's a bit lower um, at the top and a bit very slightly higher at the bottom. That's exactly correct. It's weighed off really ac accurately. Now the up weight is the number of coins we've got to take off before it'll go up. So uh, we want a low up weight ideally. That's uh, now got four of these on, so that's just under 40 grams. And three, it easily goes up. So um, it's over 30 grams, a little bit over 30 grams. Obviously, we've got a proper weight measurer. Uh, this is just a crude thing. You could do it at home yourself and find out what your up weight is. You'll find that keyboard's up weight is very, very high. Uh, you want a lower up weight, ideally. Now, having said that, the touch feels really smooth and, and very beautiful. So it's a good touch on this piano. That's with the pedal down. As I say, the dampers uh, kick in quite and do, do give quite a he much heavier feel because but then they damp very well. Now here's the Grotje in a similar down weight, perhaps just a little bit less, um, just under 50 grams. Now testing the up weight, let's take, uh, that's four of them on now, three of them on and it's still not going up. So uh, the up weight is lower, that's a good thing. If I bash the bottom there, it's just about almost going up. So it's quite low up weight. Uh, that gives a different feel. It's uh, concert grands, we've got a Steinway grand here uh, that has a very similar up weight to that. Now, the good thing about this Grotjen is although it's damping, if, if anything better, or certainly as good as the Bösendorfer, but there's less echo on it generally, uh, and, but the dampers you don't really feel at all, so they're, uh, they're, they're much lighter feel and it feels almost the same with and without the dampers. I thought I'd better illustrate what I meant by the dampers. As, as you press the keys down, you see the dampers, these are the dampers, are pulling off uh, these things here. And the springs are much heavier on the Bösendorfer than they are on the Grotjen. So as you press down, once your dampers engage, you can feel that quite definitely in your fingers. Now here's the Grotje, and as you can see, uh, I'll talk about this piano in terms of restoration in a minute because we're very, very fortunate to get it. Uh, the dampers lift off a bit later too, and there's hardly any weight in the springs here, so, uh, but they dampen perfectly, as you can hear. Listen to the Bösendorfer. There's an echo in the Bösendorfer because it's uh, such a resonant piano. There's an echo here too, but the, the actual individual notes dampen perfectly. Now you're probably wondering why I'm so enthusiastic about this Grotjen Steinweg. Uh, it is really, uh, they're tremendously well-made pianos. I've always found, uh, I've had a, always delighted in them. They have such a beautiful tone. We'll hear that again in a minute. Um, but uh, the th when this one has hardly been used, when we bought the piano, uh, it was 10 beats flat. 
and it was almost dead in tune, which is an indicator that probably hadn't been tuned for at least 30 years, more like 50 years. So in all that time, and since 1925, it's not been used very much at all. These are the hammers, and they're just about indented on, on the ends of them here. See, the, see, the Bursendorf has not been used very much either, but the indentation is almost exactly the same amount. Now, this Bursendorf has got a very refined modern tone. It dampens beautifully, as you expect, with those strong springs. And just a very fruity bass for a modern piano. Now, the Grotrin. Just a, such an accurate... When you tune this piano, you realise how excellent it really is. Let's listen to this fifth. This is a C, C to G in the bass. That's on the Grotrian. And on the Bersendorfer. It's a bigger sound, obviously. As they go louder, Tone varies, very biting if you go loud. And back to the Grotrian. Now Grotrians do come obviously in all shapes and sizes. Some of them have been really uh, worn into the ground and others of them like this one have been hardly used. We're very, very fortunate to get this. The, the fortunate thing there is that, that you've got Grotrian's choice of string such a good break point there and uh, their choice of string is obviously for their piano they thought long and hard about it so to get the original in such good condition uh, it just has such a beautiful original sound the tuning pins are very tight um, that's obviously a factor that we look at when we're going to decide whether we keep the piano without uh, we're going to refine it but not fully restore it um, we have had two in recently, both of them were having to fully restore because they were so worn and the tuning pins were loose on both of them as well. On this one, really, really tight. For closing the panel, let's just listen to the tone. And the Bersendorfer. So it's very different, they fulfil very different needs and uh, very few different tastes in pianos. I forgot to mention the Bersendorf House of Celeste, which uh, obviously if you want to practice at midnight, then it's very useful. This is operated by the middle pedal. Now the Grotrian doesn't have a Celeste, but it can easily be fitted as a lever, as a, fitted with a lever, similar to, the, similar to this Euphoric Silent, which we have in stock, and you can fit a lever and that pulls down the Celeste. By the way, all these pianos have different tones. This also has a beautiful, this Euphoric has a beautiful tone for a new piano, it's one of our favorites. This is a Kwai. It also has a very low up weight, which is, makes it feel very, very pleasant in, in its touch. I forgot to mention that the, the, the Grotrian Steinberg only goes up to top A here. Um, it's perfectly all right for taking exams. There's no exams that you couldn't take uh, with, with 85 notes. Having said that, a lot of teachers recommend having 88 notes. There's very few pieces, let's say 0.1%, maybe 0.2% of all pieces uh, written use the top three notes. Um, but uh, most pianos go up to 88 notes nowadays. Here's uh, a lot of the uh, older German pianos have 85 keys. This is a Beckstein upright, one of our favorite, Model 10. And this is a Walnut Caps. Again, Caps is one of our favorites, and so not so many of them, but they also have 85 keys. And by the way, the Grotrian uh, hasn't been repolished, as you can see. Uh, it's, it's respectable looking, but um, we can repolish. We've got a, a video, I'll, I'll do a link to, the, uh, or I'll do a playlist for another Grotrian where we repolished it. They do poly polish astoundingly well, such a good uh, veneer under that, uh, or what's there at the moment. See, the lid of the piano is quite respectable as well. Uh, we do French polishing with about 30 coats of French polish, so it is really as high quality as we can possibly do. Here's an example of a Steinway upright that we French polished. And that piano looks, used to look like this before it was polished. This lid had been kept back, obviously. And uh, so it's faded there and not faded there. But that, that'll polish out just like the other Steinway. Here's a quick look at the other repolished Steinway again. So this grotrian has got some beautiful grain under here and uh, uh, it will it'll look much better contrast when we repolish it. We'd usually do a natural color. 
So that's a comparison between a Bösendorfer 130, that's uh, 1993, um, really one of the musician's favourite pianos, uh, and I've tried to show the differences between that and the Grotje in Steinberg 125, uh, that's made in 1925. Now, they fulfil very different needs, really. If you're a serious musician wanting to study, then the Bösendorfer obviously is the right piano. It's really as good a piano as you can get. Uh, and not enough of them around. We sell Steinway uprights more frequently, there's more of them around, really. We've sort of fully restored Steinway, which was very similar in the end to this. An older Steinway, but fully restored, and the touch was also superb, and the, the end result, excellent. We have older Steinways that uh, I've just shown you, actually, some, some polish on them, and they also restore beautifully. And there's uh, many more of those around than there are Bosendorf, let's say, one Stein, one of those Steinways to every 50, uh, sorry, 50 Steinways to every one Bersendorf, and that's not an exaggeration in the UK. Now, as I say here, the, the springs, the damper springs are, are heavy, they need to be to stop the strings on this very, very resonant piano. Now, the bass is extremely resonant here. Antenna very sonorous. So now here's the Grotrian, and it's a very different piano. It's very, very sweet sounding. just very even tone throughout. The touch is uh, much more forgiving, shall we say. You, if you're an occasional player or perhaps someone who already plays well and just want a piano that sounds really like a good French wine, then this is the piano for you. And a beautiful pianissimo 